Hi folks, want better renders in Arial? Here's how I set up my project settings. So let's dive in. All right, now I will head over to the edit tab, open project settings and scroll down to the rendering section. First thing I always do here is check enable virtual texture support and enable virtual texture on texture import. These options allow Unreal to stream textures more efficiently, especially when working with large, high-res materials. It helps with performance and memory usage while maintaining visual quality, super useful for open worlds or cinematic scenes. Next, I will scroll down and make sure that both reflection method and global illumination are set to lumen. Lumen gives you real-time dynamic lighting with bounce light and reflections without the need for baking. It's especially perfect for animated scenes or environments with changing lighting conditions. Lastly, I set reflection capture resolution to 1024. This increases the detail of reflection captures, making surfaces like glass or shiny armor look sharper and more accurate, ideal for cinematic projects or hero assets. The next thing I will check is use hardware ray tracing when available. Make sure that's enabled. This allows Unreal to use your GPU's ray tracing cores for better performance and quality in the reflections, shadows, and global illumination. It's a must if you're aiming for high-end visuals and you have a compatible GPU. Then I set the ray lighting mode to hit lighting for reflections. This gives you more physically accurate lighting data in your reflections by using actual surface hits instead of approximations. It improves realism, especially for shiny or metallic surfaces. Next, I set the software ray tracing mode to detail tracing. This mode offers higher quality results by tracing more geometry detail in software. It's useful when hardware ray tracing is limited or unavailable, though it's more demanding on the CPU. Now I will make sure that enable megalights is checked. This allows Unreal to handle larger light sources more efficiently, great for big scale environments like open worlds. Next I will double check that support hardware ray tracing is enabled and this is essential if you're using features like lumen or ray traced reflections and shadows. It tells the engine to fully support hardware level ray tracing optimizations. And finally, I always unchecked a law static lighting. Static lighting can conflict with dynamic systems like lumen, and it can also cause issues with ambient occlusion in materials, especially if you're using procedural or layered shaders. Disabling this helps avoid visual artifacts and gives you a fully dynamic lighting pipeline. All right, folks, that's my go-to rendering setup in Unreal Engine 5.5. Hope it helps streamline your own projects. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more quick Unreal tips. Catch you in the next one.